Tonight, we are hearing from the attorney representing the 78-year-old woman accused of driving into a family at a San Francisco bus stop. The driver is now facing three counts of vehicular manslaughter after three of the family members, including a toddler, died. KTV's Tori Gaines joins us now with tonight's update. Tori. Julie, that's right. Mary Fong Lau is also facing charges for allegedly driving the wrong way, reckless driving, and driving at an unsafe speed after her Mercedes SUV jumped a curb and crashed over the weekend, killing three members of a family and leaving a six-month-old baby fighting for his life. The San Francisco medical examiner confirmed the identities of the family members to KTVU today. The father, 40 year 40-year-old Diego Cardoso de Oliveira and his one-year-old son Joaquin Ramos Pinto de Oliveira both died at the scene of the crash. The mother, 38-year-old Matilde Manzara Ramos Pinto, died at the hospital. Family friends tell KTVU the sole survivor of the crash is six-month-old Kauea, who is still being treated at the hospital. Fong Lao was also taken to a hospital after the crash, and that is where she remains as of Tuesday afternoon. In a new statement, Fong Lao's attorney says she is grateful for the work of first responders who responded to the deadly crash that day. Her attorney tells KTVU that she and her family are requesting privacy as investigators continue their work, saying, quote, Miss Lao and her family joined the community in mourning the tragic loss of life that occurred in West Portal over the weekend. Miss Lao has been fully cooperating with investigators and will continue to do so. I spoke with Fong. We're all just kind of waiting for the investigation to, un, you know, uncover some information that we're all hoping to have, and um, hopefully those will give us answers as to, you know, what caused this. And again, this is just a tragedy that we're all mourning, um, along with Miss Lau and her family, and you know, we're all looking for some answers. Fong Lau may be released from the hospital as early as this evening. Her attorney says he is unsure if she will be free to go home or will be taken into police custody after she is released. We'll, we will keep you updated on the status of that six-month-old baby, Kauwe, as we gather more information. In studio, Tori Gaines, KTVU, Fox 2 News. I'll send it back to the desk.